Now that we've went through the basics of points and point groups, let's talk about a way that we can further manipulate the way we view points. Now, points, like everything else, are controlled by styles. Okay. Now, points give you a little extra ability of control. They have their labels and they have their symbols. And you can control the symbol that is displayed in Civil 3D by the code or description of the point. And that's done in two different settings in Civil 3D. So under the Settings tab, under General, oops, under Points, you have Point Styles, and description keys. This point styles will control the look and the description keys will tell it what look to use or what descriptions. And we'll get a, a little bit deeper on this in this video. So under point styles, if I expand that, you can see we have all kinds of them here in this drawing. And that's to utility pole. So all this is is a style that is a marker. So I have a block that I like for power poles or that we use for power poles and the size. And we've used that block for this style and given it an appropriate layer. OK, that is all that's contained in the style. What you want it to look that, like a block, special symbol, and the layer and the color if you wanted to override it for the object. Now, <clears throat> description keys are what's used to tell Civil 3D to use a description to apply a style. So uh, for our PowerPoll example, I'll go to Edit Keys. And I can see that if they put PP as their code or descriptor, it will use the existing utility pole. Use the default label style, an overridden layer if I want to, and all and scale and format, all this can be controlled by at the code level. What does that look like when I do it? If I create a point here real quick, this over, plop it right here and I put PP, give an elevation zero, it automatically drew the point with the block. Now that is not a block on top of a point. That point is the block. So the insertion point of this block is the point, if you notice. Okay, so you don't have an object on top of an object. So you can do this for your codes to help automate bringing objects in. The important thing to understand is that styles are what it looks like, and key sets are the codes to apply them. So another example would be a fire hydrant, maybe. I'll come right here, and it's actually, let's do a water valve. And I put water valve, put enter, zero. And you can see, I'll automatically put the water valve. So it all depends on how you want to bring your points in. This helps speed up the surveying process and that you don't have to go through and sort and find every power pole and place a block. You can let the software do it for you automatically so that all power poles and all blocks are automatically there. Now, water valves might be an example that a water line might be at an angle, right? And you're wanting to rotate this point. You can select it and uh, right click. And I believe you can rotate it. Matter of fact, I think you hover. And you say rotate marker. Then I can rotate this marker. Turn off my snap. Like that. And rotate the point. Signs. Power poles, anything you want to manipulate. And you don't have two points on top of each other. So this will greatly speed up your process in putting point type. Uh, information in your surveying drawings using point styles and description keys.
If uh, this has been helpful, if you click the like button, it would be appreciated. And subscribe to get updates as I post more information.